have you ever wondered why we wear clothes made from nylon or polyester while our ancestors wore only cotton or wool? What makes these new materials so popular in our daily lives? Let's dive into the fascinating world of fibers and polymers to uncover the answer. It all starts with fibers. Fibers are the tiny building blocks of basic building blocks of fabric that we wear or the clothes that we wear. Some of the fibers are obtained from plants and animals. These are called natural fibers. Take cotton for example. It comes from plants and keeps us cool in summer. Our fancy, our cotton shirts and t-shirts are made of cotton which comes from plants. Silk, the luxurious cloth is obtained from silkworm. Yes, that tiny creatures walking behind the scene for that small shiny fabric. And wool, the warm and cozy stuff we wear in the winter, that comes from the sheep. Nature is pretty good at making fashion possible, don't you think? You probably have seen materials like nylon, uh, rayon or polyester. Yes, polyesters are used in making raincoats which are water repellent. How cool is that? And acrylic, right? But have you ever wondered where they come from? Unlike cotton or wool, these don't come from plants or animals. They are actually made in laboratories through chemical reactions. Yes, they are man-made, they are artificial and hence they are known as artificial fibers or synthetic fibers. But here is something more interesting. This nylon, rayon, polyester, acrylic, these are part of a bigger group called polymers. Now what does this word polymer mean? Poly means many and mer means basically a unit. So a polymer is basically a material made of many repeating tiny units of compounds. In simple terms, it's like building a long chain out of small links. Right? Let's see that in detail now. So how are synthetic fibers actually made? Let's take one of the most common examples. Most common synthetic fiber is polyester. You see polyester everywhere in bags, clothes, raincoats, etc, etc, etc. First, let's break down the word polyester. You see ester in there. Ester is a small chemical unit. It's a chemical compound. And what does poly mean? Poly, we know, means many. So, what is a polyester? Polyester is many ester units linked together to form a long, strong chain. And that is a polyester. And this polyester is used to make fabrics that you see in clothes, bags and even sportswear. It all comes down to this tiny chemical units joining together to create a strong durable material. And this is the fundamental concept of how a synthetic fiber is made. Another common synthetic fiber is polyethylene. But what exactly is polyethylene? Let's break it down. Here poly as usual means uh, many and ethylene is a chemical compound which is actually a gas. So polyethylene is made from ethylene which is a chemical compound which is in turn a gas. Molecules of ethylene combine to form a larger polymer chain called polyethylene. And where do we use polyethylene? Everywhere it is the stuff that makes plastic bags and containers and a ton of other everyday items. It is pretty wild to think that something as simple as a gas, that's ethylene here, can turn into plastic we use all the time. Right? Interestingly, polymers aren't just man-made. Nature also creates polymer. For example, cellulose, as you see here, is a natural polymer found in the walls of plant cells. It is made up of many glucose units connected together. Now, glucose is a very familiar term, right? What is glucose? Glucose is a chemical compound that is found in plants and animals and serves a lot of purposes. It has a lot of functions, right? And uh, cotton fiber. Cotton fibers are made of cellulose, which makes them again a natural polymer. Poly meaning many and uh, mer meaning units, right? Rubber, which is collected from the sap of rubber tree is another natural polymer. So whether it's your cotton t-shirt or the polyester in your raincoat, fibers and polymers are all around us. Natural fibers come from plants and animals whereas the synthetic fibers are man-made or human innovation. 
Next time you wear a favorite outfit, take a moment to think, is it made from natural polymer or a synthetic one?